Often, when one hears the word saint, the first thing that comes to mind is a person who is especially holy or religious. For others, it might be a person who has been officially recognized, technical term is canonized, by a church for their heroic virtue and evidence of at least one miracle performed in their lifetime. But as it is used in the Bible, the term saint has a different meaning. According to the Bible, a saint is not someone who has done wonderful things, nor it is someone who has been deemed a saint by a church or organization. The Greek words hagios, hagiosone, hagiazo, and hagiasmos used in the book of Romans are of the same root, which fundamentally means separated, set apart. Hagios is translated holy and saint. Agius means set apart ones, separated ones, sanctified ones, holy ones. It's literally a holy one and depending on the context, refers to whoever or whatever is set apart, sanctified for a special purpose. In its most basic sense, a saint is a holy one, someone who is set apart for God's special purposes as a result Every follower of Jesus Christ is a saint. Hagios is Paul's favorite description of believers and designates the believer's possession in Christ as holy or set apart from which is secular, profane, and evil, and dedicated unto God, his worship, and his service. In other words, saint is another word for a Christian a true believer in the Lord Jesus Christ. In the most of his letters, the Apostle Paul refers to the recipients as saints, including the church at Corinth where there were significant moral and theological problems. Saints are not sinless, but the lives of saints do reflect the reality of the presence of Christ in our hearts, in whom we live and move and have our being. Saints are now to live in this present evil age. The New Testament writers draw their use of the word saints, holy ones, from the Old Testament, particularly important in Exodus 19, 5-6, where God refers to Israel as a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. 1 Peter 2, 9 applies the same language to believers. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people acquired for a possession so that you may tell out the virtues of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. It is a clear biblical truth that all are born in sin and all have a sin nature. Scripture says that God created humankind originally good and without a sin nature. Then God said, Let us make man in our image according to our likeness. God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. However, in Genesis 3 records the fall of Adam and Eve. And with that fall, sin entered into the two previously sinless creatures. And when they had children, their sin nature was passed along to their offspring. Thus, every human being is a sinner. Saints, on the other hand, are not born saints. They become saints by being reborn. Because we have all sinned and fall short of the glory of God. We are all in need of spiritual rebirth, without which we will continue in our sinful state throughout eternity. But God, in His great mercy and grace, has provided the only means for turning a sinner into a saint, the Lord Jesus Christ, who came to give his life as a ransom for many. When we confess our need for a savior from sin and accept his sacrifice on the cross on our behalf, we become saints. There is no hierarchy of saints. All who belong to Christ by faith are saints, and none of us are more saintly than our Christian brothers and sisters. The Apostle Paul, who is no more of a saint than the most obscure Christians, begins his first letter to the Corinthians church by declaring that they were sanctified in Christ Jesus, the called saints, with all those who call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In this verse, Hagius is translated saints, holy and sanctified. In different Bible versions, 
leading to an unmistakable conclusion that all who have ever called upon Christ for salvation are saints made holy by the Lord. We are all fellow citizens with the saints and member of the household of God. Believers in Christ are called saints, not called to be saints. We are not saints because we have been declared to be saints by church, nor we can work our way to sainthood. Once we are saved by faith, however, we are called to a certain actions befitting our calling as saints of God. But according to the Holy One who called you, you yourselves also be holy in all your manner of lives. Because it is written, you shall be holy because I am holy. Sanctification involves not only a change in position, that is a separation from a common worldly possession to a possession for God. As illustrated in Matthew 23, 17, 19 and in 1 Timothy 4, 3-5, it involves also transformation in disposition. That is, a transformation from the natural disposition to a spiritual one by Christ as the life-giving spirit saturating all the inward parts of our being with God's nature of holiness, as mentioned in 12.2 and 2 Corinthians 3.18. If you have turned away from your sins and trusted in Jesus and what He has done on the cross, you are a saint, a holy one, God has set you apart for His special purposes in this world and has sent the Holy Spirit to dwell in you. The Holy Spirit is at work in you to transform your life so that you reflect the ultimate Holy One, the Lord Jesus Christ.